Hi everyone, welcome to Costs Technology Talk. Today, we're gonna learn about the Biosan filter. Here it is. Okay, let's check it out, shall we? As you can see, it's pretty big. It comes up pretty high, almost up to my waist. The size is one of the reasons that it can filter 400 milliliters per minute, which is a real advantage if you have a big family. Now, not all biosand filters look like this one. Some of them have a concrete body, while others are made of stainless steel. The bodies can either be square or round. Let's take a look at this, shall we? The lid protects the biosand filter from insects and other things. When you're ready to filter the water, just open up the lid, put it down, and pour in the water like this. Pretty easy, right? One thing you'll need to remember is just to pour in the water once a day. Curious as to why? Come closer and take a look. Come on. I know what you're thinking. I know you can hardly see anything. That's why I brought this. This poster shows you what's inside. Remember, the large column of sand I told you about? Well, here it is. Did you know that the sand filters out the stuff in the water that makes you sick? Yes, the sand. That's why it's the most important part of the filter. The sand doesn't do all the work by itself. It gets help from a mysterious layer of microorganisms called the biolayer that forms naturally on the top centimeters of the sand. Why is it mysterious? Because you can't see it. The filter gets its name from the biolayer and the sand filter. Pretty easy to understand, right? The other parts of the filter are there to make sure that the sand and the bio layer are doing their jobs effectively. Like that standing water layer, it's there to make sure that the bio layer gets enough water and oxygen. We can't let it dry out. That's why we pour water in the filter every day. And this right here, this is called a diffuser. It's basically a box with holes in it, but it can come in the form of a plate. The diffuser basin reduces the force of the water so it doesn't create a big hole in the middle of the sand so as to not to disturb the bio layer. Now you're probably wondering what these two layers are at the bottom of the filter. They are small and large gravel. The gravel stops the sand from coming out of the filter and clogging this plastic tube. The tube carries the filtered water to the outside of the filter where you're gonna need to collect it with a container like this one. And of course the water. We can't forget about that. Once it's in the receptacle, disinfect the water and it's ready to drink. The water is cool and delicious. So much cooler than when I first put it into the filter and definitely much safer to drink. Perhaps the coolest thing about this filter is that it lasts a really long time. Some say up to 30 years with a concrete filter. You don't have to replace any parts except perhaps the safe storage container. Well, that's it for today. There's way more to learn about the Biosand filter. If you're curious, check out the videos at the link on your screen. Have a great day, everybody.